Around the world today, we consume 160 million tons of vegetable oil and fat each year. One quarter of this is palm oil. 87% of the world's oil palm supply comes from Malaysia and Indonesia. In Indonesia, it accounts for 11% of the total agricultural output. In Malaysia, palm oil is an 80 billion ringgit industry. But even though the Malaysian oil palm industry is big business, it has an enemy. An enemy that threatens to destroy 5 million hectares of oil palm plantations across the country. This enemy is Ganoderma disease. Ganoderma is a deadly fungus which spreads through plantations, invading, colonizing, and killing oil palm trees. In 1990, the disease was recorded increase in oil palm in Malaysia. Ganoderma disease has already infected up to 47% of Malaysian oil palm estates. Researchers from MPOB have identified four species of this fungus in Malaysian oil palm estates. Ganoderma boninensis, Ganoderma zonatum, Ganoderma miniatocentum and Ganoderma tonatum. The most dangerous is Ganoderma boninensis. Ganoderma boninensis, which causes basal stem rot, BSR disease. All the oil palm estates over 16 years old, the disease has attacked 60% of estates in coastal areas and 30% in inland areas. Plant pathogen like Ganoderma can be inhibited provided the plant is healthy. The disease is spreading fast. Even immature palms and oil palm seedings in the nursery stage are being attacked. Palms as young as uh, five years old or even earlier are also known to be infected by uh, this uh, fungus. How does Ganoderma disease kill? Using chemical will attract Ganoderma disease. For example, NPK fertilizer makes oil palm plants look big and fat. But beneath the surface, the roots become weakened, making them a target for an attack. The reason for this is that when chemicals are used for a long time, the soil becomes acidic. A sign of acidic soil is a pH level of 3 or 4. In acidic soil, plants have difficulty absorbing nutrients. Acidic soil depletes good bacteria. And these trace elements that normally protect the plant from disease. So chemical fertilizers make the plant weak and vulnerable to a massive outbreak of Ganoderma disease that could threaten the entire plantation. During replanting, wilted oil palm leaves and empty fruit bunches are left in the field. These unwanted plant parts are fibrous and the Ganoderma fungus grows strong in a fibrous environment. The fungus creates fruit and the roof of the fruit produces millions of tiny cells called spores. These spores are transported to other plants by wind, water, insects, and even by humans. Sometimes it happens underground where farmers don't see it. Spore colonies infect the roots of a tree. 
When these roots touch the roots of surrounding healthy trees, the infection spreads to the healthy trees. The spores attach themselves to new soil or a new plant. Then they begin to reproduce themselves, creating an entire colony of new spores. This colony, or army of spores, surrounds the plant's trunk and roots, ready for the kill. Other times, spores develop into full-sized mushrooms. These mushrooms contain enzymes, which rot and destroy parts of the roots and trunk. When the roots and trunk die, the tree can no longer absorb nutrients from the soil. The lack of nutrients could reduce the plant's ability to defend themselves from pathogens like bacteria and fungi. And as a result of this poor nutrition, the oil palm plant grows fewer fruits, smaller fruits, and lower quality fruits. Without proper control, the infected palm will die within three years. New leaves wilt, and the trunk decays. Eventually, the tree may even fall to its death. The mushrooms produce millions of new spores, and the killing cycle continues. What have we tried, and why hasn't it worked? Farmers chip infected trees into smaller pieces, and debone infected roots before exposing them to sunlight. These methods are expensive, time-consuming, and although they kill the symptom, they do not prevent the disease. Some burn the infected areas. This method may seem time-saving, but we must first go through the lengthy and often troublesome process of getting approval from relevant environmental departments. Other farmers use new technologies, such as fungicides and biological agents. An example of this is hexagonazole, which is injected into the trunk of the infected tree. Again, effective, but costly and time-consuming. Identifying the disease palm itself is, is very difficult indeed. So, by doing so, if you were to uh, tr inject, trunk inject every palm, that becomes very, very prohibitive, both uh, costs and uh, operations. Some have tried soil mounding. But this was proven to be ineffective because two years after the treatment, the Ganoderma fungus was found again on the mounded palms. In fact, this method actually prolonged the infection. Underplanting while replanting doesn't work either, as there's a high risk of Ganoderma disease in the replicated palm. Because of that, I think treatment is difficult and expensive because if you can identify, it's already too late. When it's too late, we try to do the treatment, the palm will die anyway. For 50 years, Malaysian scientists and farmers have battled to stop this disease from destroying an industry with little success. That is, until now. Today, we introduce you to the only sustainable, cost-effective solution to the Ganoderma disease. Gano EF Bio Fertilizer. After studying Ganoderma for 24 years, Dr. Idris Abusaman, a researcher from the Malaysian Palm Oil Board, MPOB, discovered that the key to preventing the disease lies in restoring unhealthy soil. 
So after experimenting with more than 500 endophytic fungi, Dr. Idris and his team have developed a unique formula that makes infertile, chemically saturated soil become healthy and fertile. The formula is jointly effort between all cosmos and MPOB. GANOEF Biofertilizer is a biological agent that restores soil to protect plants against Ganoderma disease. It's very important, the strategy to be more on a prevention than kill. It contains important organic matters such as chitin. Chitin is a polymer of N-acetylglucosamine that alerts phytoalexin a plant's natural defense mechanism against disease. Another key protective ingredient is an endophytic fungus called Hendersonia. Once Hendersonia touches the root of an oil palm, it can reproduce itself and cover the entire root to protect the plant against a Ganoderma attack. It also managed to control the percentage of infected oil palms from meeting an early death. The combination of Hindersonia Gano EF and all Cosmos nutrient supplements enhances the plant's ability to resist Ganodermal disease. Many studies have shown that Hendersonia is not only highly effective in controlling Ganoderma disease, but also in improving oil palm crop performance. Based on our research, the MPOB Gano EF has significantly reduced the spread of, of the Ganoderma infection in oil palm. The formula contains also 17 essential elements to provide safe and healthy growth. Gano EF Biofertilizer also contains NPK nutrients and effective microorganisms. These give soil the nutrition, hydration, water retention and air permeability that plants need. The formula also helps to bring back plot of land or plantation to its previous healthy biological environment. Together, all these ingredients restore the soil to protect plants and help them absorb the nutrients needed for robust, disease-free plants. This unique biofertilizer has many benefits. Not only a cost-effective method of preventing the killer disease, it actually improves both the quality and quantity of the fruit, resulting in higher profits. Low cost, easy to apply, usable in nursery or field, easy to store, effective in preventing Ganoderma disease, environmentally friendly, Improved nutrient uptake, increased profit margin. Gano EF is easy to apply at any stage of growth. At the seeding stage, mix one part Gano EF to 20 parts of soil. Fill a large poly bag halfway with the same one part Gano EF, 20 part soil mixture. Pour in 30 more grams of Gano EF. Place the seedling into the poly bag. Add more of the original Gano EF soil mixture until the bag is full. Pour in another 30 grams per seedling over the next 8 to 9 months. Planting or replanting stage. Dig a hole in the soil. Pour 300 grams of Gano EF into the hole. Place the seedling into the hole. Fill the hole three-quarters of the way with soil. 
Add another 200 grams of Gano EF. Fill the rest of the hole with soil. It's easy to protect a young palm with Gano EF. Shovel four to six holes around the palm. Pour two to four kilograms of Gano EF into four to six holes, making sure the Gano EF contacts the roots. Fill the holes with soil. Protecting an infected area. Perform this step after the sick palm has been removed and replanting is complete. Dig four to six holes around each of the six healthy palms. Apply two to four kilograms of Gano EF per palm. Fill the holes with soil. Dr. Idris developed Gano EF Biofertilizer. Along with University Technology Malaysia Professor, Dr. Hisham A. L. Nsashi, and their team at All Cosmos Industries in Diren Burhan. All Cosmos is the production arm of the Malaysian Palm Oil Board, a key stakeholder in the industry, and one committed to a profitable and sustainable oil palm industry. Let's work together to ensure that everyone in the industry prospers. Gano EF Biofertilizer, the sustainable solution.